Wednesday, September 17, 2008. Stock markets around the world, particularly those in the United States, Lehman Brothers, a major American investment bank, has filed paperwork for bankruptcy. It will be the largest one of the investment firm in 18 years. Lehman attempted Critics charge Greenspan didn't do enough to regulate subprime and other mortgages, and he left interest rates too low. And under questioning, he acknowledged a flaw in his belief that markets would regulate themselves. You found a flaw in a the flaw, reality. A flaw in the model that I perceived is the critical functioning structure that defines how the world works, so to speak. I, what I, am, I, am, I obviously have made a decision to make sure the economy doesn't collapse. I've abandoned free market principles to save the free market system. We aren't simply standing by and saying, look, we think Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are okay and, and, and don't, don't panic. We are saying, and we are also gonna fix by regulation and statute and in a variety of ways, the kind of irresponsible practices that led to this problem. Adam Smith in, in The Wealth of Nations who is the proponent of free markets, wrote that rarely do business people get together that they don't start to collude and conspire against the populace. Well, what we've had in the, over the last 20 some years is Adam Smith's nightmare. We haven't had just businesses getting together. We've had businesses, government, politicians, bureaucrats, and celebrities all getting together, talking about how to plan this economy. And when the whole thing collapsed, all of the managers, all of the planners, and all of the bureaucrats lost faith in markets, but they didn't lose faith in themselves. And now they want us to entrust them, the same people who manage this economy in the ground, they want us to entrust them with the solutions to fixing the economy. We haven't had a free market economy, we've had managerial capitalism. A very good example is of course Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Here we have two government-sponsored enterprises essentially being mandated by Congress to lend large portions of their loan portfolios to people who couldn't possibly afford to pay them back. And at the same time, in the background, is the government essentially saying, don't worry, make these loans because in the end, we, the United States government, we stand behind you. So is it any wonder that Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac executives pursued this line of reckless lending? It's a classic example of unintended consequences following from ostensibly good intentions. Had real markets been allowed to work, they would have reflected reality. And early on, people would have known that there were bubbles or there was there were bad information and the markets would have adjusted to that and solves the problem. Instead, we have the government trying to protect people from the consequences of their actions. Every parent knows that if you protect a child from the consequences of their negative actions, that child is going to do those negative actions. There's an analogy that can be made here with banks. If banks know that they are going to be bailed out, whatever the decision that they make, then we shouldn't be surprised they start making irresponsible decisions. If you incentivize people to behave irresponsibly, guess what? They will. 